Set number 21244, the Sword Outpost, is the LEGO Minecraft set I didn't know I needed. We've got our fair share of new things in this set. We're looking at our first LEGO Allay, two brand new character skins, an enchanted trident, and perhaps my favorite, a printed jukebox. Yet at the same time, there's something very old school about this set that draws me to it like none other in this wave of sets. How does it balance all this at once? Well, let's take a closer look. The LEGO Group sent me this set early for review, but you can pick yours up starting January 1st in 2023. The Sword Outpost has 427 pieces and retails for $44.99 here in the US. Before we get into the set itself, I do want to make some quick notes about the box, as there was a lot of discussion generated around it when these sets were originally revealed. The design has proven very divisive. There's a lot of people saying that this is the worst box art they've ever seen and that the style is much too simple compared to what they're used to. Others are happy to see the return to the green color scheme after last summer's blue boxes. Personally, I am indifferent so long as our Minecraft boxes never resemble the blank empty void of like the 18 plus line, I think I'll be pretty happy with whatever the graphic designers come up with. And honestly, I do kind of like this. The worlds that they've created in the background of each of these boxes are very nice, and I enjoy the stylized approach to it all rather than taking basically what amounts to in-game screenshots. But enough about the box, let's talk about what's inside the box. I know many of you are dying to see what the figure selection looks like, so let's not waste any time and get straight to that. We have a pretty impressive lineup of figures for a medium-sized set, right? Six mobs and characters all together. That includes two brand new player skins. This first one is referred to as the Guardian Warrior, which perhaps is a bit of a ridiculous name, but I, I, I can see where both might fit in. The player is decked out in a lot of diamond gear, just lacking a diamond chest plate, which would have covered up that lovely new printed torso. And the head isn't anything too new or exciting, though I was disappointed to see that mine already has a number of print imperfections as well as scratching on it, which is unfortunate because this was definitely just pulled from a brand new set. Our other player's skin is quite noteworthy. The box refers to this player as the Sentinel Soldier, an equally ridiculous name I might add. However, this is of course our first Minecraft character to feature Vitiligo, similar to what was done in the foosball table last year with standard minifigures. It's really cool to see the amount of diversity that has taken place in the Minecraft line already. It's definitely a front runner in that department. And this skin is great too. We get some lovely metallic printing on both the front and the back. And this player is wielding our very first enchanted trident. Of course, that is just done in lavender. That's what LEGO has been doing for enchanted weapons for quite some time. It's not the best solution and it's not the worst solution. I still stand by that I would love to see some marbling. How realistic that is, I have no idea. Some sort of transparent lavender might have given it a more magical feel too. We also get a very familiar skeleton that you've probably seen plenty of times by now. This one does have an iron helmet, which is nice. That's just done up in the flat silver color. More familiar mobs follow with a pig and a creeper. Both have appeared in many, many sets at this point, but the highlight, figure-wise, of this set is the brand new Allay. I did not expect this thing to come out already in this January wave of sets. I thought we might see one at the earliest in the summer, so it was really great that they were able to pull this off in a relatively short amount of time. I mean, this thing was literally just added to the game, and we're already seeing it in a set. That's pretty fantastic. The LA features the baby zombie, baby pigman head, which was developed specially for the Minecraft line with a unique print on it. The most interesting part by far though, is this vinyl piece, I guess I'll say, used for the wings. Honestly, I'm really happy with this effect. I think the vinyl works great. I was wondering if it would make an appearance here because it's become a lot more common, especially in the monkey kid line. The vinyl piece itself just bends there at the neck and can slip easily over this modified one by one tile. I think it's a really good solution for keeping this thing relatively small. The body itself does become a bit chunky so that it can fit hands to hold your items, which makes sense for this mob. In the reveal video though, someone suggested an alternative solution to keep the body a bit smaller if you didn't want it to carry around items. And that is to use the baby zombie body that appeared in the red barn set and is also coming 
in the uh, bee cottage set this year. I haven't actually tried this yet, but I think it should work pretty well. Yeah, I, I quite like that a lot. Again, I must stress that this baby zombie body is not included in this set, but you can get it in the red barn and the bee cottage set. And it makes for a little more manageably sized LA. The LA also comes with a clear stand here and new for 2023, I believe, is the two by two jumper in trans clear. We saw it last year in trans dark blue and trans orange, uh, but it's nice to start seeing this thing show up in other colors too, as Lego continues to expand its selection of transparent parts. Then we get to the set itself. Right off the bat, there's something so familiar about this. Like I've seen this before and I probably have. When you load up Minecraft for the first time, you are not a great builder, but what you can easily make is 2D pixel art. And when you have the references right in the game, like a pixel art sword, why not try and give it a go? When I played on survival multiplayer servers, you'd see stuff like this all the time adorning the skies. And I absolutely love that they brought that into life in Lego here. Just building this set honestly made me want to play some classic survival again with the boys on a multiplayer server. And that's not a feeling I get very often from building Lego Minecraft kits. The sword is also block accurate because it's built using snot techniques. It's all built on its side. That becomes a little more obvious from the back perhaps where you can see all the anti studs but it's just a huge collection of two by two tiles. In fact, I think one of the bags was completely devoted to a number of these two by two tiles. As someone who does a lot of Lego Minecraft mocks, it's delightful to see something like this. I know there's probably a lot of people who expect the sword to be able to be pulled out and waved about. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. However, you can still pick this up very easily by the sword hilt. The thing is plenty strong and holding it around like this is plenty satisfying and probably makes for just as dangerous of a weapon. I probably shouldn't say that. Don't beat people over the head with this, please. The rest of the base is pretty primitive as well, featuring just some scattered cobblestone walls in this little defense tower over here, adorned with buttons for detailing, which I think is a really nice touch as well as some dispensers and the return of flick fire missiles. Quite exciting. Good luck flicking these though. They're really awkwardly placed. The set also includes an additional flick fire missile as well as buttons to suggest that redstone is firing these. All these defenses guard a very fun array of items in the back. Two wooden blocks, one with a cookie on top, one with a music disc, the same music disc that showed up in a skeleton dungeon last year. A double-sided furnace, one side lit, one side unlit. And then the best part of this set, a printed jukebox. Not only is it printed, it is indeed functional in that you could slide the music disc in between the plates there. Of course, my music disc print, again, is just off center enough to drive me insane, but at least the jukebox print is great. Someone suggested that would make a great chessboard as well, which I can't agree more with. Folks, this is a Lego Minecraft set, and of course that means there is an exploding feature, especially when a creeper or piece of TNT is included. The creeper can take out the whole tower. It makes our creeper friend here seem a little tougher. I really do enjoy the set, but I do a little bit at the price of $45 for 427 pieces. Obviously, Lego prices have increased across the board and Minecraft was never going to be immune from that, even though I feel like we've gotten a lot of really good deals from the theme in the past. This does not feel like a complete scam by any means, but it does not feel like the best of deals either. A lot of bricks go into making this sword, and that's why this set comes out feeling a touch small, even if the price per part isn't ludicrous by any means. That being said, this set still remains probably my favorite of the wave, just because of the amount of new and old that it blends together so perfectly in this set. There's something for people who have played the game for years. There's something for people who have just gotten into the game. The addition of a jukebox in a set like this is honestly just the icing on the cake. 
did not seem to be a necessary addition by any means, but I am so, so glad it's here. I love stuff like that, especially when it gives us a brand new printed piece. There aren't a lot of surprises in this set. Pretty much what you see is what you get, but I really enjoyed what I saw and I enjoyed what I got. If I were to revise my list of ranking every LEGO Minecraft set ever, I could probably see this one cracking the top 10, to be completely honest. But that's all I've got for this one. Are you planning on picking it up January 1st, or are you going to wait for a more reasonable discount? Later on, do let me know. I'll be reviewing a few more Minecraft sets early in the coming days, so be sure to be on the lookout for those. As always, have yourself a great life, and I will see you next time.